Hi, I'm Brian Fraser, the minister here at Brentwood, and we're in the midst of a Jesus Jazz and Worship project in which we are examining the dynamics of jazz worship services, how people are experiencing them, what they think about them, and uh, as you may have noticed in other videos on this YouTube channel, we've had four wonderful young jazz musicians uh, researching, uh, asking other people that take part in jazz worship services how they're experiencing them, finding out how they construct that reality. Um, and we have a wonderful group who've agreed to be the coordinating committee for this project over the year. That includes my friend Darlene Ketchum, who's with us right now. And so uh, I'm curious, give us a little bit of you know, that kind of background in terms of, of jazz and music and church, and why you said yes <laughs> to <laughs> being on the coordinating yes. committee. Uh, I grew up in church. My father was a minister for the first eight years or so of my life. Uh, so my introduction was mostly church music as far as um, music. And then when I was 13, 12, 13, I had been exploring theory uh, through my music lessons and loved big chords and so started <laughs> to explore some other um, musical sounds and uh, particularly the Afro-American uh, gospel yeah. style, yeah. Uh, Andre Crouch and Danny Bell yeah. Hall and I really, because they had these beautiful lush chords and then this music that exuded that the melodies were free and from the soul and so that really connected, and, from, and moving from there, then I began to listen to jazz and soul and R&B and funk because of those. So yeah. that attracted me, definitely. Most of my life was spent, I did a lot of teaching, I did a lot of worship leading in churches and teaching um, about music and music direction and music theory, and it wasn't until a little bit later that I came back to the whole jazz mm -hmm. thing as a performer, and um, that was maybe like 10 years ago. Yeah. I felt the need, I'd done a lot of um, concentrating on sort of the more contemporary church music that was out there, but I really was missing mm. um, the, my gospel roots and <laughs> the jazz and needing to explore the creative side again and get singing again and start writing as well. So I yeah. um, joined the Marcus Mosley Chorale and um, two years later joined the leadership of it. Uh, I actually started as a um, alto singer, just to kind of get myself back into mm -hmm. things again. And then uh, joined them as the choral director two years later and began to write music. I met Bill Sample and uh, we began to write some music mm -hmm. together. Um, and he introduced me sort of into a lot of the jazz musicians yeah. who, were, who were also playing for our choir. So I connected, I... Um, did a recording myself yep. of my songs called Soul Connections. They were songs great, from... Great recording. <laughs> great recording. Sort of a combination of gospel yeah. and jazz yeah. and sort of, uh, you know, from my past and sort of the coming back for mm -hmm. me um, exploration of... Uh, so I started to perform that and then write new material um, and have just um, really enjoyed... Uh, exploring the, and, and connecting with the jazz community in Vancouver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then these jazz vespers, so mm -hmm. began to be asked to play at a few different jazz vespers. And, and I love that because that connected then my spirituality yeah. with the music. And um, because I do believe in God and I have a, con a connection there, I, I thought this was another way of expressing my... Um, uh, my journey, yeah. my uh, spirituality, mm -hmm. my faith um, was through these jazz vespers. And I thought there's a great opportunity and great potential yeah. in what these yeah. can do in just to uh, raise us to a higher level of thinking, uh -huh. to raise yeah. us to a higher level of questioning mm -hmm. and, and delving into things that maybe we're not uh, generally, even just at a concert, uh, going to address, yeah. you know, um, could be whether it's themes, universal themes, but we're thinking about it on a greater basis of, of um, delving in a little deeper. Yeah. 
nice. than than just listening and in a club or a concert. In a club or a concert, yeah. yeah, that's right. So I just felt so. This was, yeah. While we were doing these interviews, have been recording these interviews. Most of you have been downstairs um, <laughs> cooking up questions yes. for the rest of the project. Could you yeah. talk about a couple of those questions that intrigue you most? Yeah, one of the questions I think we talked about was how do we. Um, how do we take people on a journey in these hours? Mm. So make it more about a, a connected journey so that we connect the music ah. and the ponderings or, you know, yeah, yeah. in between. Yeah. And how do we, uh, you know, make a connection between sort of the musicians and the music and the minister or whoever is the person that is conducting right. the... the um, talking part yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, so that it becomes, uh, so it's not just a disconnect, but there's this whole connecting Connect. thing that we, we go on a journey mm -hmm. um, every week on something. It could yeah. be a specific topic or it may not be, but um, yeah, just but like, more, that yeah. connection between the music. I like that, that. that image of the journey for providing mm -hmm. the connective Mm -hmm. um, energy, yeah, that's and It's just great. awakening, uh, mm -hmm. awakening thoughts yeah. that we maybe don't address. Yeah, know, great in our normal life. So. And I know you came up with twenty, but is there another we one? We did. That, um, <laughs> another one that struck you as particularly important? Uh, let's see. There was. We also talked a bit about what could be deterrence for people, like what ah. what kinds of things, or perhaps the opposite of that. What kinds of things um, would make people want to come yeah. to yeah. that? You know, so, you know, it could be on either side, mm -hmm. discussing either side of that. Sure. But um, what about jazz vespers, jazz even songs, um, could we explore that mm -hmm. will help people to want to, want to come, come yeah. and be part of it and feel like, yeah. I need this? Yeah. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I'm so delighted that you're part of the project. Thank you so much yeah, for your willingness. Too. Thank you for asking. And, uh... <laughs> Thanks. That's great. <laughs>